Welcome to Temple Builders Carpentry. Temple Builders, we problem solvers. Temple Builders safety first. Okay, Temple Builders, today we talking about your lath. This is your lath, your narrow strips of wood right here and plaster, okay? This is your plaster right here, three coats of plaster. And I got studs on here, okay? Now let me give you a Wikipedia definition. It seems to be adequate, okay? Now, lath and plaster is a building process used to finish mainly interior dividing walls and ceilings. It consists of narrow strips. We see the narrow strips of wood up there, right? Called lath, which are nailed horizontally across the wood studs or ceiling joists and then coated in plaster. You see right there? See how it's oozing through the uh, space of my lath right there, okay? The technique derives from an earlier or more primitive, primitive process called waddle and daub. That's spelled D-A-U-B. Okay, now, lath and plaster largely fell out of favor in the UK after the introduction of plasterboard in the 1930s. In Canada and the United States, wood, lath, and plaster remained in use until the process was replaced by transitional methods followed by drywall. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, let's move on. Now, if your house was basically built during the 1930s, and before, right, you probably have plaster or lath and plaster walls, okay? Interior wall and ceiling finish, okay? Because it, it ran, if you see on my board right here, I got from the 1700s to the mid-1900s, okay? Now, let's go over the anatomy of this, okay? So, I got three coats here, okay? I got first right here, this is my scratch coat, okay? But let's talk first about the lath. Okay, the lath is an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half wide. Okay, so that's this dimension right here. Okay, and the thickness is between a quarter of an inch and three quarters of an inch. All right, so I got a also I got a three of a, three eighths inch gap right here. It can also be a half an inch gap. Now, remove all this plaster away from here and just think about putting. This lath, each lath strip a board on these studs, okay? You put it on here one by one. That's a lot of work, okay? That's how they used to do back in the day. I stay in the house that's done with plaster, okay? That's another thing I want to talk about too is that uh, what I did, see my plaster walls wasn't too bad, so I took off some a little bit of the trim, the trim that I needed to take off, and I went back with drywall, quarter-inch drywall, to make the wall finish look smooth, okay? Then I painted it, okay? You can do that. You can go right over it, okay? You gotta think about it. I'm putting more stuff on top of this drywall. I'm putting more drywall on top of plaster. That's what I mean to say. So it's gonna better soundproof it, okay? And also better insulation. Now, as I was about to get into, is we look if we look up here at the left-hand side of my board, as you see, it said plaster is a stronger material with better soundproofing capabilities, right? So if I got the laughing plaster, then I put a quarter inch sheet rock, boom. Ain't doing no harm right there, okay? It's gonna make it look nice, okay? I did it in several of these older homes, all right? So let's go back up here and let, let's go back up here and talk about this, okay? Now, <clears throat> so my scripts right here is, like I said, an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half wide. They four foot long, okay, and they can be a quarter of an inch to three quarter of an inch thick. Okay, so when you put your first coat on here, you know, using your trial, and they pushing it through these slats, or they pushing it through these my uh, spaces, okay? That's going to give it a better bun, okay? That's going to that's gonna, that's gonna allow it to bun. Now, once that first coat hardens, wait a minute. Look right here. When you're pushing it through, that's your keys. Okay, see, how, that, see how, how that's protruding out? That's what's forming your keys, and that's going to lock it into place, okay? Now, they also have what they call metal lath, okay? If I was going to do this today, okay, if I was going to get my house done with plaster walls, I would use metal lath, okay, modern, you know what I'm saying? However, back in the day, they used a lot of wood. For your lath okay now the area right here the three eighths of an inch area is called your keyway that's your keyway 
and it's producing these keys that's gonna lock your plaster into place, okay? Then they come back with a tool after, they come back with a tool and make those scratch marks in it, okay? I heard it called a, a comb or uh, I forgot the other name for it. But anyway, you make those scratch marks in it and that's gonna allow your second coat or what's called your brown coat to burn better, okay? You look right here. It's our brown coat. See a little dots in it. It's a little rougher. It's a little rougher. That's your second coat. Okay, now this stuff can be as hard as uh, almost concrete, you know. I had to take this stuff down before ceilings, walls. It can be as hard as concrete, man. Okay, so let's go over the anatomy one more time. We got the studs right here. We got our wood last. You know, these call our keys. The opening is our keyway. Scratch coat. Brown coat right there. Okay, and then we got right here. Our white coat or our finished coat. Okay, we got our finished coat. Okay. Then I also want to say this type of wall finish is not normally used today. Okay. It's bas it basically doesn't fail out of favor. And it's only certain particular times you might see it. One of them is, okay, uh, for historical use. Okay zoning requirements like if, if it was some if it was some zoning requirements in a historical district okay that they uh required you to have lath and plaster walls okay another reason why you would do this is to basically restore your home see the difference between repairing it and restoring it okay you if you're restoring it you're restoring it to its original state and so you'll go back with the plaster, the lath and plaster walls, okay? And I also read some about, okay, you can use this to finish for finishing as well. People still may use this. It's not common, but some people use a drywall substrate, they say. A drywall substrate first, then plaster it, okay? And also metal lath is used. All right, so I think that's enough. So uh, if y'all like this information, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, become my apprentice. Also, if you want to contribute to Temple Builders, look in the description box. You will see my cash app in there, uh, okay? And then uh, go from there. Temple Builders.